Well, a 65 to 54 victory for Michigan State, improving to 15 and two alongside the former Wake Forest standout, LaChina Robinson. I'm Lisa Byington, and this was a kind of game where the person or the team that was going to win really had to find a way to win. Two teams that know each other well, two coaches that are very competitive. They really had to go outside of their comfort zone to find success out there on the floor. And boy, was it a tough game. And Band-Aids will be running out on both sides for both medical staffs because it was a rough and tumble world at the Breslin Center tonight. It was physical. I mean, every possession, they were just fighting for position. Each team trying to get an inch of an advantage on the other. There were fouls called. I mean, it was really a battle, Lisa. A couple of dead ball technical fouls called. But Clarissa Bell on the offensive side, a career high 25 points. How did she do it? She was very aggressive, and that was the thing that Susie Merchant was looking for from her. She's known for her defensive prowess, but really came up big when they needed scores, finding it on different parts of the floor. 10 of 20 from the floor, played all 40 minutes. She didn't even come out. The turnovers deadlocked, but the points off turnovers favoring Michigan State. Yeah, I mean, they really defensively got after it, and I felt like the pace of the game picked up in the second half, and that allowed them to run and get those points and transition off of turnovers. So in the conference, Michigan State improving to 3-1, and one, Iowa falling dead even at 2-2. Two